monomers lined up in a row. Long, long chains, macro molecules for sure. In chemistry, that's what we call a polymer. In chemistry, that's what we call a That's a nice tune. I, I like that tune. Long, long change. It's pretty good music, isn't it? Yes, yeah, very it good. It's polymers. The word we're going to look at today is poly. Poly means many and mer means parts, so it means many parts. The polymer we're going to look at is polystyrene. You're familiar with it from drinking cups and in styrofoam peanuts. And you, you remember these, don't you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. And they were banned for a while. People didn't like them for a while because they used to use CFCs as blowing agents. I think they use carbon dioxide now, maybe even air. Now, a fingernail polish remover. You have any fingernail polish on? No. Okay, so you're in luck. This is acetone. This used to be a fingernail polish remover. We're going to put this acetone in here. Let's say uh, quantitatively... I don't know, 100 milliliters or something, that's good. That's good enough for government work. You've got a box of uh, styrofoam peanuts here. In the bottom of this box is a prize. If you can fill up this beaker, you get to keep the prize. Let me move this beaker in case you get too excited. All right, so all you have to do is drop those puppies right inside here. That's good. You're doing a nice job. All you have to do, once it's filled, the prize is yours. All right, not finish the box, fill the beaker? Yeah, you may oh. go a little faster. I mean, you know, this is costing somebody money. You're doing a nice job. Well, I'm not neat. I know, you aim to please. <laughs> All right, or please aim or something. You're doing nice. Here, I'll, maybe I should hold it still for a while. Does that help? Whoa. Should I just pour? If you wish, yeah, you could pour. No. <laughs> Stinks. Now, it, it does stink. It smells like acetone, doesn't it? Mm. Fingernail polish remover. Mm. Um, that's good. Now, it's really not soluble in the way we know. It breaks down the polymer configuration. Kind of the inter... I'm trying to help. Molecular oh. forces between some of the polymer molecules. It's almost full. It, well, <laughs> No, I'm winning a prize. <laughs> no, I'm competitive. I gotta win a prize. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. Life's not fair. Get over it. <laughs> All right. You're doing a good job. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This could be the end. Yeah, I think you get the point. Mm. That there is a lot of airspace in there. Mm. I need to be neater. No, you're right. Oh. So it yeah, it is it's, it's, it does smell bad. Let's see. We I think we can stop now. Mm. I lied about the prize, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> now it really hasn't dissolved that much. Some of it is slightly soluble. But it really hasn't dissolved. It's broken down the polymer configuration. So now we have still polystyrene. In fact, it's still there. It's not what you think it is. All right. In fact, if you let this dry and the acetone evaporate, you'll end up with something like this, which you can make into, you know, seats. Pottery. Pot well, you could. You could make it into seats in your classroom, bumpers for a car, parking lots, all kinds of... Passes to go to the bathroom. That's true. You could make it in just about any shape you wanted. Um, so we're going to lose this because you're right, it does smell. But before oh. we do that, oh, there's one up. more box over there. See the third box? Could yes. you just get a handful of this one and this dump one? it in? Let me get rid of these guys. Hang on, just let me get rid oh. of these guys. Oh. All right, now we're ready. Just take in, just take one handful would be fine. I think I'm going to lose this. And throw them in there? 
Yeah, just right in here. And uh, swirl that one up. Can you swirl that up? Not much is happening, is it? These ones are the starch-based ones. They're not going to be soluble in the acetone, all right? Not at all. But the, and the acetone ones, as you know, aren't soluble in water. So these aren't going to dissolve at all. These are the starch-based ones. If you take some of those starch-based ones and put them into this beaker of water. Do I win a prize if I fill that one up now? <laughs> Tell you what, we will get you a prize, trust me. In here? Yeah, just in here. What do you think? And if we stir this one up, that's probably good. That's okay. good enough. Because we're just going to stir this up. And to show you it's soluble, it does take a while to break down. But these are soluble. And, and it, your chemistry teachers, you know that you do some labs where you need soluble starch. And isn't it a pain to boil the water so you get ready? And that costs money. This is free. This is going to work as a starch in the labs that you need soluble starch. And what's a nice test for starch? Iodine. Well, iodine. Now we have two kinds. We have the iodine potassium iodate solution. It says starch test. This contains uh, iodine and potassium iodide. Or we have a bottle of iodine solution. So we're going to see which one works better. Actually, I'm going to have you put, yeah, yeah, put one in there. Stir. Stir. Yeah, we can use the same thing. And I'm going to give you a barrel pipette. And you can uh, yeah. put a dropper of this one in. And I'll stir while you do that. And then we'll put a dropper of the other one in. And we'll see if it makes any difference. Ooh, almost instantaneous, that nice dark blue color. OK. That's good. Now try, that was the, just for reference, the iodine, uh, the, iodine the official potassium. iodine starch solution testing solution. Now here's just iodine water, 0.05 molar. See if you have to buy the official or we can just use the iodine water. Ooh, they both work. How convenient. So this is a nice, Notice soluble, the acetone is not soluble. In the acetone, the polystyrene is sort of soluble. It does react with it to a certain extent, or interact with it to a certain extent, while the starch does not. You can find uh, in wig stores styrofoam heads. I noticed one of these one day when I was wandering through looking for a little darker color hair, and um, noticed this and thought, this would be great to have in my classroom and started thinking about the kinds of things I could do with it, and at least one would be a safety demonstration. What happens if you spill a chemical on your face? Uh, or it might be a great thing to do at Halloween time as well. So I'm gonna take a little acetone, I'm gonna dump it on top of here. This is styrofoam again. It doesn't really dissolve. What happens is it weaks, weakens the bonds between this polystyrene and it lets the gas out. So you'll just kind of see it shrink back down. These, these boxes are really nice for setting things on. I often throw away what's in them and keep the boxes, but I'll take a look here. Oh, I'm melting. I don't feel so good. This is really nice sometimes after school and the kids annoyed you. <laughs> yeah, pretty quickly. A little color on there is kind of nice too. Fun to play with. You can also get polystyrene arms, legs, and <laughs> whatever else you want. You can build a whole kid if you want. But the heads are kind of fun to play with, uh, and there are a lot of different things you can do with them. They're just kind of nice to come in every once in a while and just have them go away. Once again, you'll see that it really didn't dissolve. I've still got the polystyrene left behind. All I've really done is let the blowing agent out, which in this case I believe is carbon dioxide, release it from it. And I'm left behind with the polystyrene, which will solidify eventually.